you know, overall, the Nexus is getting more and more unstable, is looking more and more and sounding even creepier than when we started. So I am concerned that the final two levels will be a lot more horror-centric, like the last Halloween Town one over here. Um, all something or other. It's going to be like a uh, mall or something? Possibly. This is creepy. Why can I not move? E. There's an arrow shape button on the panel. Might as well push it. Push the only visible button. The elevator begins to move. Oh, okay. I guess that's not the floor we're going to. So maybe it is like a hospital mall type environment, I would assume, just based upon these items scattered around. Oh, it's um a very bloody goji. Oh, how lovely. This is quite unnerving. Um, employees only. I well, can't go there. See the sparkle in the distance over there? Infinite shopping. So it is a mall. All right. There was like no sound. This is very strange. Okay, let's go down this way real quick. Bathroom? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're in the back rooms. Just like the interior worlds, we're in the back rooms. Holy shit. I knew that buzzing was familiar. How do we get out? Is there even a way out? Are we trapped here permanently? Stuck forever? Hopefully there isn't anything, you know, in here with us that wants us to be a little less than alive. That would be quite unfortunate if you ask me. We've played plenty of Backrooms games before, so it should be no problem finding our way out, right? It's basically just one big maze. This is quite larger than the one that was in Interior Worlds, I think. This is the second Backrooms Easter egg. Oh, that doesn't look good. I think that's our exit, though. This is our exit. This is actually seems very reminiscent to that of um, Interior Worlds. Same exit and everything. Can we go back? Nope. Okay. It's a one and done type thing. It's a good thing we uh, kept poking our heads around. Okay. Forward we go. I wonder if... Nah, surely that wasn't the secret level. I'd be very surprised if it was. Deals inside all from me. Say less. Say less. We can just ride on up. We are going to shop until we drop. This seems very reminiscent of the interior world's level. Cover Cove. Nice music, though. Hmm. We are here. Welcome to Heaven's Plaza Mall. The store will be closing soon. Please buy your items and leave as soon as possible. Thank you for shopping with us today. I'll take as long as I want, thank you. I will go where I please, do what I want, even. Retro. What's so retro about it? Anything visualize. I get it. You're visualizing something? Alright, anything on this level we can poke around and explore. The donut. Thanks a latte. Very funny. See anything in particular? I mean, everything's closed. Another door is open. Shit. Um, there is a freshly baked pretzel sitting on the other side of the closed gate. Too bad you can't reach it. How do I? How do I get it? I want it. I want it so bad. Give me the fucking pretzel. I'll get that pretzel. Don't you worry. I'll find my way in there and I'll get that pretzel. There is not a force on earth that can stop me from getting that pretzel. Except maybe this gate. This gate might actually do me in. All right, surely there is something up here, right? Um, boys only, nothing. Oh, a lot of... Some whispering in there. They were whispering about something in there. Um, well, that's everything on this side, really. I guess we venture on over here. Because music is very loud. Oh, it looks like we might need that. You see some toy on the counter through the closed gate. No way you can get it from here. Hmm. How do we go about opening up the gates, then? Big dreams. Now, there's something else over here, too. Something shiny, if only there was some way to get to it. 
How do we get to it then? What's this? The gate is down and blocking entrance to this area. You can't lift it up. There's a tiny keyhole at the bottom of the gate. He must be around here somewhere. Hmm. How do we find a key? Where would a key be then? Oh, shit. Well, I guess Steve's armory surplus. I'm gonna turn off the music for right now. That's getting really loud and a bit obnoxious. Going on for that long, I suppose. Um, there's a small key, department store gate. Is that a department store or something else? Oh. All right, store closing. Now this, this looks almost exactly like the one used in Interior Worlds. It's, it's very similar, it's unexact, I should say. Oh, that doesn't look good. What is this? Switch here, pull it. The sound of a gate lifting can be heard elsewhere. Some other gate has lifted somewhere else in the mall, I'm assuming. Oh, another switch. Gate lifting can be heard in the distance. So it opens up other things um, further in the mall. Then what about the dressing rooms? What are these here for? Hello? Um. Hello? The sound of a child crying is coming from this dressing room. Knock on the stall door. Hello, who's there? Are you my mommy? Go away. I don't know. I came here with my mommy. Everyone's gone. What can I do? Well, I bought a really cute teddy bear from the toy store earlier, but I left it in there. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll go grab that. And I think the pretzel's also open, so we can grab that too. As that might come in handy a little bit later on. Look at that. Pro move. I didn't do it that way though. My mannequin fell. How unfortunate. Alright, I guess we'll go and grab the things we need to grab. We need a teddy bear. Oh. Huh. Quite unusual for a mall, if you ask me. Big dreams. Teddy bear. Grab the teddy bear. Ooh, that was loud. All right, um. Summit Arts. This wasn't open before. Another art room. Very neat. Joy of that. Love it. Any keys in here? Very cool. Very neat, very neat. Hmm. Very cool all around. I'm loving these art rooms. Such a great way to pay respects to your own, you know, fan base and whatnot. To the community in general. Oh, the arcade's open too. Retro. Bitchin. Let's poke around in here real quick. Game galore. Find a secret arcade in Mall World. Call it secret, sure. Dissension, Pathogen X, very nice. Infectoid, I think some of these are Soda Raptors games. All of them might be, I don't know. I only, I only recognize Infectoid. And Hypnagogia, Hypnagogia. Apparently there was a game before this one that I didn't even realize, what is this? Game developed by Soda Raptors, so there we go. Hypnagogia. Um, Wolf Gun, Pathogen X, Hypnagogia, or Hypnagogia, I don't know how you pronounce it. Dissension, Mecha Evolve, VR, Infectoid, Artifact 51, DMCP, Colleague Proje College Projects, Castle Panic, and Hypervirus. Interesting. Any other review open? No, Cover Cove and the Inkwell are closed. What about the original area over here? Wasn't there a gate? 
There's Goji. But the escalators are gone. Huh. Alright, well, that's bizarre. There's no way to get back over. At least not right now. Interesting. I'll get to you. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get to you. I'll get you. You will be mine. I probably need to bring the, the bear back to the kid, and then he'll say, Oh, now I'm hungry. I need, I need a pretzel. And then the kid takes my hard-earned pretzel. And still blocked off for the whispering. Okay. I guess we will wander back to... Oh, wander, wander back to the crying child. What the fuck was that? Did that come for the direction of the of the changing rooms? You know, this game hasn't been, you know, has not shied away from chase scenes of running from big monsters as we've come to have learned. Here's your teddy bear. Feeling hungry. Yep, okay, now we can go. Get the pretzel. Oh. That's, um... A bit disturbing. A bit gross. Oh. May I please have your attention? The uh -huh. will be closing in five minutes. Please bring your items to the checkout now. We thank you for shopping with us today. Then I have five minutes? Or is that just an alert? So what happens in five minutes? I get the feeling I'm gonna grab the pretzel and then something's gonna go very much wrong. Something is gonna go very, very wrong, I imagine. I'm waking up. Go to the pretzel walk. Pretzel waltz. And it opens for us. Freshly baked pretzel. Oh, that doesn't sound good. In fact, one might say that sounds bad. What is going on? What in the silent fucking hill is happening? Oh, there's a bit of a leak. This is unfortunate. What happened to all the signs? This doesn't look good at all. Everything's boarded off now. Like a true failing mall. The water's all icky now. Everything's gated off, too. Look at the arcade. Damn. No more arcade. Oh, we cannot go back now. We are... Oh, God. Well, that's not good. Um, okay. Uh, no accessing the sign, apparently. That's... Mm, can't touch that. Can't go near it, even. Okay, I guess we'll just venture on upstairs then and hope that everything goes all right. Um, even the whispering wall is completely uh, blocked off. Still don't know where the secret level would have been unless it just was the back rooms. Finds if we just... We die, gotcha. Don't do that. Oh! Uh-oh. Things are falling. Well, fuck. So I'm stuck over here is what I'm I'm picking up on. Ooh. It's a bit of um water damage. What is this? What is that? What are you? Why are you undulating and moving like that? This doesn't feel like it's all for me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure I'm, I'm vibing with this. Terrifying. Oh. Oh, what is that? The 
we have to go upstairs? Do we have to deal with this? Okay, off to uh, the kid eh? to give him a pretzel, I guess. Alright kid, here's your pretzel. And so much made me feel better. Thank you, I think I'm okay now. I'm ready to leave. And so are you. What? What does that mean? What is going on? Oh, there's a dream shard. So what happens if I go inside the, uh, the closet? Fuck. Fuck, are you shitting me? You fucker. I have to go down here, don't I? What in the fucking Silent Hill is happening right now? Um... What are you? Are those the things that attack Goji? Like, living nightmares? That's a door. That's a door. I don't know if I fuck with that. You know, there being a door here implies that it's going to open at some point, and that I'm going to need to run. Let's hope that that's just a theory. Oh, I fucked that. As long as I stay over here. As long as they stay over there and I'm over here, we're fine, right? Oh, um, they appear to be above me too. Please, respectfully, go away. Okay, alright. We're fine, right? We're fine. Why are there platforms on the other side? I'm starting to see why there are platforms on the other side. Gateway to heaven. I don't think that's a gateway to heaven, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's the opposite to the gateway of a heaven. That might be a gateway to hell. Oh my god. That almost fucking crushed me. Oh my god, I have to... I have to, don't I? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks fucking terrible. It's almost time. The gym is nearly completed. The hypnagogic, hypnagogic dreamscape draws to a finality, and power will be restored, all thanks to you. Your persistent strength thus far has gone beyond impressive, and for that I commend you, although the journey is not over yet. Remember, you'll be told lies and untruths from lesser beings who only wish to take control of the dreamscape themselves. To listen would be foolish. Face your true self in these final moments. Overcome weakness, face absolution, face the end. Um, alright. Holy fucking shit. Alright, this is the final level, I guess. God, what what is happening? Oh, we're in a fucking sewer system. Tower of Heaven? This doesn't feel like a Tower of Heaven. This feels like not that. I get green liquid everywhere. Oh boy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I got spat out somewhere. I have to get all the way up there? Oh god, that seems so far away. Oh my god, we're in the ruins of a destroyed city. Destroyed everything. Oh god, what is that? Who are you? Well, I guess there's no going back. Hello? Rejected. We are the discarded, the rejected. Every one of us you see has been made to be disposable. It looks as though you've been added to the proverbial pile as well. There is nothing down here but old memories, remnants of dreams long forgotten. 
Someone is waiting for you far beyond this point. Go now, or become one of us. Shit. Way to hell. Oh, that's cool. That's great. Love that. Love being on my way to hell. Remnants of the other areas all around us. Yeah, remnants of all the other biomes are here. It's all coming back. I can see that. What is that? Hello? Oh, good lord. Gatekeeper, the outlier approaches. I am the intermediary. We've seen the progress you've made so far. Though your journey's not over yet, before you stand three pillars of your own creation. An exit exists somewhere in the stream, but for you and you alone. It calls to you. Do you stay or continue? The choice is yours. Stay, you'll suffer with us. Do we have to continue? Go now, I'll send three pillars before you. Okay, staying is not an option. Holy shit. Oh, the snake gods. Mushrooms. God, all right. There we go. All right. Who are you? I see a view so vast and full potential, yet everything feels so empty and neglected. We yearn for something greater, but like the scenery. Maybe our dreams get a little too cloudy. It doesn't have to be like this, but no one ever tries to stop it. What do you think? It's possible. I hope to a person in a place like this, your words may one day be an inspiration to someone. Or maybe you're a fool. Optimism, enthusiasm, happiness. They all died a long time ago. Well, shit, dude. He's so pessimistic. Granted, look at where we're at. I've lost track of time so long ago, but I still see the occasional blur of someone pass me by. As I sit here, I think to myself, how did I end up here? What choices did I make that led me to this exact spot? I have vainly tried for years to make the right moves to plan the rest of my life while being keenly aware there's a bleak chance for a brighter future. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. Probably not. Who can say? Shit, all right. How do I let them out? How do I let them be free? Hello? Something to eat, something to eat, anything. Piles of trash, globs of garbage, old useless rubbish. Shit, dude. There's a jetpack. There we go, there's one of the pillars up there. Oh, wow. I lay here every hour of every day, hoping to finally close my eyes and wake up to see a different place. The ground is cold and hard, but the endless burning rubble at least keeps my back warm. There's a pretzel. The music really sets the tone. It gives it an air of finality. Of a bad end. To an otherwise good story. What is this? That probably takes me up somewhere else. I once had a dream that everything in the world was rearranged, slightly shifted somehow. It may have only been a few inches or a few feet, but everyone was happier because of it. I think whatever possibilities of that dream coming true have now ended up here. I will spend the rest of eternity trying to find them again, and so will you. I've been here for longer than I can remember, and I've never been to the second tower. I can go anytime I want, any of us can, but every step my body becomes slower and slower. It takes days for me to get even to the nearest of places. I think I'll just continue to rest here. Keep trying. No, I don't know. Everyone I know wants to, wants to stay. Maybe I should too. I'll think about this. We were all dreamers once. Memories of family, material obsessions, kingdoms in the sky. And then the nightmares came. They never stopped, and now we live in a confused world of what once was. Unfortunate, you managed to stumble into such a predicament. You don't belong here. Do you stay or continue? The choice is yours. Continue. An option so many of us wish we had. Go now. Oh shit. Oh god, now it's all a big biomass. This is gross. This is icky. This is, ugh. Oh, everything got drowned. And an ocean of blood. And I wish I was being proverbial, but I'm not. Oh god. He does not look okay. 
Oh, it's moving. Oh, that's disgusting. God, so fewer living things here. Dumpster fire. Ugh. Oh god, I hope he's alive. Oh, there's one. Hello? I was so blissful keeping my eyes blinded to the world around me before I was forcibly brought into it. The hubris it must take to yank a soul out of non-existence into this meat and to force a life into this thresher. My mind keeps at a standstill holding... My mind keeps at a standstill holding a level of comprehension that will never be enough. I want to go back. God. So depressing. Oop. Almost missed that. This one is a lot taller, I'm noticing. A lot more winding. Oh, that's Teddy Bear. You alright? Could there really be nothing left up ahead? More of the same? More repetition? It's not... I can't believe that. There's got to be more to discover out there than just this. I can't keep doing this. It hurts so much. What could I be doing wrong? Keep going. Do you really believe I can? I can. I will. Months, years, decades in the making, but it will get to where I want. Thank you for saying that. Push the cube. Prepare for the end. Okay. Yes. Is the gate open? Go. Goodbye. Our destiny lies up ahead. Oh, no! Why is there a save beacon right here? What's about to happen up, up front? No, oh, going up again. How tall is this? Now what? All right, do we just jump onto it? Now what? Oh, whoa. That's bright. Holy shit, be not afraid. Holy fuck. <laughs> do not be afraid. I have been expecting you, dreamer as of all beings. We know you have traveled far and overcome many obstacles, some small, some tedious, many horrific, but all were necessary. The last of what you seek is here. It has been here since time began, and in your possession, it will complete your journey. It will answer any questions you may have, should you so desire an answer. Where is Goji? The Dream Protector is alive. His physical form has remained in deep stasis for a long time, a sleep from which nothing can wake up. As a result, his power to safeguard against nightmares has weakened greatly. You must be the one to free him before this world succumbs to its final collapse into darkness. You are running out of time, Dreamer. The longer it takes to reassemble the crystal, the more wretched the nightmares will become. What do I seek? You see the completion of the ethereal dream crystal. You have been, you have been now for longer than you can imagine. Its reassembly is the key to everything. The final shard exists untampered with as it has since it was brought here. You are not the only one to seek it, however. What are you? I am many thanks. An observer, an orchestrator, a protector, a prophet of creation. Everything that has happened up to this point is part of a sequence predetermined by my will alone. Your actions, your choices, the lives you've touched, all have faded you here, for better or for worse. Listen to my words carefully, Dreamer. As you undertake the final minutes of this quest, remember all you have done. Without you, these worlds will continue twisting and gnarling into irreparable versions of visions of horror. You are the lock, and the shard is the key. I must leave you now. The last piece of the puzzle is waiting. The light will lead you there. This is my final message to you. We will meet in another life, in another dream. Farewell. And like that, it's gone. And where do we go? Toward, toward the light? Or is the light consuming everything? Holy shit. 
Ascension. The Dreamcatcher. Are we running towards Goji? No, we're running towards herself. After all this time, we're finally here. It's so close, just out of reach, but we can reach it together. Everyone is waiting for us. They've been waiting for far longer than we can imagine. We shouldn't keep them. Come on, it's just across the way. We'll go together, so we're not afraid. All right, across the way it is. That's the sorcerer from our first dream, right? The wizard. I hope you took something from all this. It'd be quite silly if you came all this way and didn't learn anything. But I don't believe that. I knew from the second I saw you that you'd do great things. You have more patience than I ever did. When you get to be as old as I am, you learn to appreciate things other people tend to rush through. Take your time now. You got it. The snake gods. I was quick to judge you at first, but you've made me realize how little I actually knew about you, how much more you're capable of. At first, I believed I was a teacher, the one to own all the knowledge. But you've taught me to be more thoughtful of others, and for that, I'm thankful. Let the calming waters of old and new wash around you with soothing acceptance, as they did me and others before me. Thank you. Oh man. I've forced myself to become cold and distant from so many people I love, just to protect myself. I was always afraid. You being around folded over me like a warm blanket, a subtle comfort I've never experienced before. I know I can do better than this. In a way, you saved me from myself, and I can never repay that. I hope your presence continues to inspire others for a long time. Bye, Biscuit. Still whipping and snapping, as always, I see. Something tells me you've got the mark of a real go-getter on you. Reminds me of a younger me. Don't let me get you all worked up, though. Sometimes even lost and broken things need a bit of a sentimental appreciation. You've got to dig deep inside yourself, deeper than you ever have. We're all broken in some way, but we can all be fixed, too. What a reunion. And a goodbye. It's okay to live in your own world sometimes even if it's made up like a maze of endless corridors. You're never truly lost. There's time to stop and draw a map, make a solution, change course, reflect. You have all the time in the world to make a decision. The universe is an infinite loop of chaotic madness that's all happening too slowly for us to worry about so much. Find comfort in that. I will, I will find comfort in that. The Ghost King. It's so hard to know what it is I have to learn from all the mistakes I've made in my life. It feels like a physical obstacle I just can't traverse. My heart hangs heavy with the notion I'll have made those mistakes forever. But you've taught me how to move on, to embrace them. I hope one day I can free myself. I hope one day I can give myself another chance. I'll rest until that day comes. I've had a hard life, and I know others had it much worse than me. I've begged for so long to have someone shake us awake. Have our prayers been answered? Are you the one who will bring our lost and bitter views back into perspective? You being around brings a much needed freshness to the air, a feeling that we'll remember for the rest of our days. You've been so nice to me, to everyone, even yourself. You deserve so much more than you think you do. We all do. But what if it's all been a dream? Everything to happen in our world, our creations, our emotions, our connections. No matter what happens, I'll never forget you. Promise you'll do the same for me. It's your time to wake up now. Is that Goji? Is that truly Goji? Are we about to get punked? Or is that truly Goji? What? Damn it. Not Goji, but a reflection of who they are in the final shard. Shatter no more.
A fully realized dream shard. Your role is finished. Out of the way. I fucking knew it! He betrayed us! Finally, the power of the dreamscape is mine. What? What is this? Is it Goji? Emerging from the dream crystal? There they are! That's impossible, you were imprisoned! Your corruption will never harm the dream crystal. Ha <laughs> ha! Fools! You only delay the inevitable. Now, you will all die! Oh fuck. Oh shit! I knew I should have crushed you when I had the chance. Once I deal with you, I'll continue turning this dreamscape into a paradise of nightmares. Hehe, <laughs> trapping you here was all too easy. Now you'll both. You! You useless wretch! You were supposed to bring the shards to me. But, but I thought you just said to. Fool. You have failed me, worthless mimic. Oh shit, there goes the mimic. You consider this a paradise? Dreams are sacred. You don't deserve to exist here. Excuse me? I don't deserve to exist? You don't know the meaning of the word. Was it not me who gave the dreamer purpose, a goal, a means to an end? I am the balance of this sorry excuse for a world so desperately needs. And now, I will show you just how much I deserve to exist. I had a sneaking suspicion the thing that trapped Goji and Hypno were one and the same. Holy shit, what's about to happen? Goji. Um, I have an anime standoff here. And us in the center. Oh, oh my god. No, Goji! You fucking bastard. What do we do? Damn pathetic fool. He died how he lived, defending the miserable little thing you creatures call a dream. Now, your soul will remain in my world for all of eternity. Holy shit! What is that? What is what is happening? Are we healing him? No, I will never be destroyed. You will never destroy the nightmares. And the nightmare is gone, even if only for a moment. Don't be sad, restful one. I will always be there to protect you. No, not Goji. What's happening to him? Oh, he becomes one with the dream crystal.
protecting it from the inside at the very least. There's the Dreamcatcher. Oh, and Goji. Now it's time for us to wake up. What a long, strange trip it's been. Oh my god. Oh, I love that game so much. That was a trip down Nostalgia Lane. I mean, it feels so similar to so many of the early, like late 90s, early 2000s games that we've, we grew up with, you know? I mean, all the platformers, like, reminds me of, of Spyro to, you know, Crash Bandicoot to all of those in a similar vein to even pulling from horror games like Silent Hill quite heavily for certain parts. I mean, it was such a mishmash of all of the things you'd expect to see in those early titles, and it was so well constructed. Each level was amazing. The hidden levels that I could find were amazing. The Easter eggs were amazing. Art rooms were fantastic. The music was outstanding. From start to finish, it was just an enjoyable enjoyable ride and I know I didn't get to see all of the hidden levels too is the thing I don't even know where the rest of them are at if you've enjoyed Hypnagogia Boundless Dreams Hypnagogia Hypnagogia Boundless Dreams I highly highly encourage you to get a copy of yourself and play through it especially if you're wanting a trip down memory lane and playing a game that just fills you with such nostalgia for a bygone era I'll also leave a link down to Soda Raptor's Steam page as well, so you can check out their other works. I've also played the Interior Worlds, and I love the Interior Worlds. And you can see a lot of references or similar architecture being used from Interior Worlds into Hypnagogia. Whether it be intentional or accidental, I don't know, but it was nice. And it looks like we are reaching the end of the credits as well, with the bell hitting the bottom of the Dreamscape's ocean. This game is dedicated to all the dreamers who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. A bright ocean. Where are we? Oh, the mimic. Washing up on some distant shore. Missing an ear. Whoa. That's a lot of dream crystals. They all look corrupted too. Shouldn't they be blue, not red? <laughs> 